What do you think, Catherine? Do I need custom inner soles for my cycling shoes? What's that? <laughs> Damn, good question. <laughs> So guys, what we're doing today is I'm here with Nathan White and we are, well, we're looking at my feet. So you've now turned off the video, I understand that. But we're actually looking at my shoes, uh, we're looking at inner soles, we're looking at my pedal stroke. So what we'll do is we'll capture a little bit of footage of, of his treatment today and then the plan that he's going to sort of set forward for me. After they arrive, I want to get together with Dan. We'll just have a look at how they've affected me and then we'll take them for a ride and see how they go. I should mention I'm paying for them this and all that so this is not like a ad for, for what they do but it's it's interesting i don't necessarily suffer from any specific pain or anything like that from this but i spend a lot of time on a bike i'm getting older i still want to perform i don't want to get injuries this could be something that's useful so in your in your case to try and provide a more even platform for pressure we'll try and Reduce a bit of peak weight that first bit of tarsal oh, through here. Yeah. It's a bit lower than everybody else. Then just throw some pressure back in your arch. Yeah. Create a nice snug fit. It just makes your shoes fit superbly. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it just makes your shoe feel really secure in yeah. your foot. My my knee was collapsing. I was a little bit on uh, downstroke. Downstroke. Okay. What I'll do is I'll get a mould of your foot. I'll get you to bring your bike in. Mm -hmm. Check out the train to see how it is. Like we what we'll find is we'll put in soles inside your shoes and it feels good. Yeah. That's great. It won't change that position here. Yeah, yeah. it's not to do with the foot, it has to do with a, a proxy issue. We got a lab tech will put the carbon in there and bake the carbon fibre, so it'll bake it against that modified shell, pull it off, grind that baked carbon fibre back into a shape which is used with your shoes, and we'll run a very thin cover on top of the bottom and just drain it as you go. So. Okay. So that was super cool, actually, guys. So we will um, we'll follow that up, obviously. Uh, he'll be sending mold out to us. I think you caught a bit of that. But really interesting what he was saying there about how crossed I was, which is something to do with probably my glute weaknesses, um, one side of the body being a lot weaker than the other side, which is definitely something I'm going to have to look at, um, not necessarily performance-wise, but certainly injury prevention-wise. Informative session, to be honest, just to talk cycling in that sense for that period of time. Well, this is what they look like. And like Nathan said, when we were up there in Brisbane, I had this, well, I think he could have termed it an imbalance on the right-hand side. And we'll, he didn't claim that these would be sort of suddenly solving that issue, but let's quickly have a look whether they have actually had any impact. So what we're trying to look for here is what we're trying to see is if when we put these um, footbeds in underneath Chris's foot, if it changes his pattern when he's getting up and down out of the, the chair. This on the left leg is it has a bit of a wobble, which is pretty normal. It's got a little less of a tendency to go in. And then if we have a little look at the right leg now, but it'll go straight in as he gets up and then come back to normal as he comes up. Same thing happens on the way down, but in reverse. Now let's see what happens on the right leg when we put the footbed underneath. See if we can get a change there. What we see is a bit of inconsistency. Sometimes it's better, sometimes it's not as good. Sometimes it's possibly even worse. Um, so we've changed the motor pattern that Chris is using slightly here with the footbed. Chris sits on the saddle and moves from the middle to the left side and never moves over to the right side at all. Um, this is something that they pointed out to him when he was up in Brisbane. So we've got the inner soles in now. Do you feel any difference with the sensation of riding the bike? Does it feel any different to you? Do you feel like you're pu pushing through the pedals any differently? It, feel, it feels a little bit more locked in, a little bit more uh, even, I suppose. Okay. It looks almost identical back here, so unfortunately it hasn't had a big change up the chain, um, but considering Chris's history and the hip issues that he's had, it's not that surprising that we're not seeing a massive change here. So I think the biggest thing for someone like Chris who doesn't have any pain or any major issues on the bike or with his feet or anything like that, 
The biggest difference he's going to find with these inner soles is going to be comfort. Some people really like that feeling of support in the shoe and they're going to find that a lot more comfortable. Other people it doesn't really matter for. So if you're someone that likes support in your shoes, you're someone that likes that feel like Chris said of feeling more locked in and feeling more supported and stabilized, then these inner soles are going to be something that you're going to like. If it doesn't matter, it doesn't worry you too much and you don't have any major issues through your feet or through your lower limbs, then I don't think you're going to see a very big difference in performance or anything with these inner soles. We haven't done some family time B-roll for a while, have we? Quick update, Catherine charging along on the bike at the moment. Uh, we're still on training wheels, so any advice for maybe making that next step, please do fire it over to us. But yeah, custom insults. <laughs> Look guys, and like I said in the beginning, um, this wasn't like due to some particular like outrageous injury. Liz? Have you ever run with custom inner soles? I said I haven't worn um, an inner sole before, but it was once recommended to me for because uh, I was slightly pigeon-toed when I ran. Uh, but the physio said that I could use the inner sole or I could do the physio to correct myself. So I did the physio to correct myself rather than use an inner sole. Two thoughts straight off the bat. The, uh, the arch situation is really interesting. Like, so I can feel that straight away. I've never really had something pressing up against the arch of my foot before. If I'd just put these on and didn't know they were custom, I'd be like, I've left something in my shoe. Do you know what I mean? Something like that. The other thing is, you know, most inner soles are pretty soft because they're trying to sort of adhere to everyone. These aren't, <laughs> they are, they're much stiffer, but the stiffness is a strange sensation because where you would think stiff would mean uncomfortable because it's shaped to your foot. Yeah, it's, it's different, I have to say. Not good, bad, or indifferent at this stage, just different. Because these are for you, they're for your feet. If they're like slightly out, you really notice it. So I found myself in these first couple of rides, 5Ks in, here I am, Anzac Ridge. And I pulled over to re, like, just slightly move, take the foot out, put them back in. Because like I said, they're made for your foot. So, you know, if the arch is like in a half a mil or half a centimeter, like too far forward, you just have to like take the shoe off and put it back on again. I'm pretty sure that will bed its way in as this goes along. But uh, something to notice, maybe give yourself an extra two minutes before leaving on some of these early rides. So obviously I've taken my time with this vlog. As you've no doubt told from the multiple sets of <laughs> headwear and eyewear that I've used. As a standalone product, you know, maybe your money's better spent elsewhere, but when you factor in the consultation aspect of all this, the opportunity to sit down and talk about cycling, your body, your physique, physiology, that's the value. And the, and the, the benefit is you get a little bit of custom footwear alongside it. So for the expense was mostly covered by health insurance for me. And in this sort of time where we're, we're all looking for a little marginal aero gain or resistance gain, how about just a good old fashioned comfort gain? I'm sure loads of you have tried custom inner soles and have your own opinions. I'd love to hear them. Pop them in the comments down below. Because I'd like this to be a bit of a conversation about them, where the value is. For me, all about that consult. Alrighty guys, I ain't attempt to sign up, find some fitness again after the Philippines. I tell ya, that's a vlog in itself. Alrighty, Woodhill Mountain. Means this vlog is done. She's up there running. I think 
I don't think she loves bike riding. It's reality. <laughs> 